Hello, traders. Cousin Ben coming to you from theclosingprint.com, Sunday, the 21st of July, 2024. In this edition of your weekend video newsletter, we'll discuss the indices which drop below the vol trigger at 55.45. So we have negative gamma to deal with. That said, we did hold the 5,500 put wall. With this in mind, our indicators are showing three bullish, three neutral, and the remaining 14 bearish. So that's telling you to be cautious this week. If you haven't been taking profits, perhaps you want to consider doing that. VIX spiked last week as volatility increased, with stocks responding by fading as we look for the next base to form as July OPEX is now behind us. The New York Fang Index faded below the 21-day moving average last week with a 10% pullback noted if we do manage to hit the 50-day. RSI is descending below 50, and we got stochastics and MACD resetting. As we head into the thick of earnings season, quite a few stocks that we trade are reporting this week like IBM, Raytheon, General Dynamics, etc., and looking for upcoming tech earnings for further direction into the month of August. The S&P 500 faded as well. Looking for a retest of the 50-day perhaps. That would be about a 5% pullback. RSI is responding, moving lower. MACD and stochastics are also resetting. We could see a move back down below the 20 level. And for stochastics to turn up along with MACD, we had three distribution days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, with the S&P Equal Weight Index also showing similar weakness, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, pulling back into this triangular pattern range with a number of stocks above the 20-day back to 70%. Number of stocks above the 50-day have pulled back to 65%. So this is telling us to be cautious, look for a base. Perhaps we start to bang something out in the next few days. We don't know. Just be cautious nonetheless. While small caps were the highlight last week, we did fade similarly with a shooting star on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, pulling back to 216 and managing a bounce. We have support right around 215 and then below that 210 with the weekly showing a shooting star but managing to hold right above 216 with the next level of support just below at 215 and then 210 below that. Note the volume. So we'll be watching IWM this week. Okay, that said, we did see some improvement in Bitcoin, so that might be something we look for this week as a follow-through. The weekly shows a nice reversal back above the 10 EMA. Coinbase and other stocks did respond accordingly as volume did pick up on Friday the 19th. Towards the, towards the latter half of the day, after about 11 o'clock, going into the evening session, and then, of course, into Sunday, we're pretty much moving sideways at those recent highs, just below 67,000. So look for Bitcoin to follow through this week. As we noted in the opening monologue, most of our indicators are bearish. We have the New York Stock Exchange McClellan volume oscillator turning down. That's telling you to be cautious, take profits off into strength, Reduce your risk. We did that over the last couple of weeks. And if you were late in taking profits, perhaps you want to hedge after we see how the open goes Sunday night into Monday morning. Additional breath indicators pulling back. New York Stock Exchange high low. And the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline pulling back. Blue elder sticks for the time being, not red with advanced decline percent also pulling back from the plus 30 percent level we told you that if it got above plus 30 percent we saw that on wednesday there was a potential for some fade or pullback profit taking which finally resumed through thursday and friday so all of these
big cap, mid cap, small cap, and NASDAQ in the lower panel in descending order are all telling us to be cautious to start Monday trading. Yields managed to bounce last week, but remain in a descending pattern. We know that the Fed is going to cut rates. It's just a matter of when at this point and how many. With yields higher, of course, we had the bonds retreating a bit, but still above the 50 and 200 day moving averages right at the 21 day to start the week. While one of our most important indicators, junk bonds, showing a flag, we did have buyers showing up right at the moving average, pushed it back up to 95 towards the close with IWM and IVB both pulling back. These are bearish looking indicators, of course, Bitcoin higher and advanced decline retreating. So the majority of our indicators are bearish at the moment with the US dollar managing a bounce. At the same time, the dollar moved higher, gold, silver, copper are moving lower. With gold heading back to its 50 day moving average, possibly this week, if the US dollar continues its path higher. Overall, these are caution signals you need to be aware of. Commodities are pulling back, so that's more of a bullish indication. We've got Brent crude dropping below the 50 day moving average, thank you very much. And the Deutsche Bank commodity tracking ETF shows weakness in commodities. This is what you want to see if you're looking for equities to bounce. It's just a matter of when after the selling dissipates sometime, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks. If we consider sectors, most are showing stochastics rolling over. As we look for bounces near the 20 and 50 day moving average, like we see with transports, perhaps that's an area we could consider this week. Semiconductors lost the 50 day and are moving lower with most everything else following suit. So be cautious, looking for pullbacks to the 21 day at a minimum in most cases. Looking for bases to start forming over the next couple of weeks before we start to do anything from the long side from an investing perspective. Swing trades, day trading, another story. We'll cover that during the trading day and the live session. Small caps did fare the best. However, they are also pulling back, as you would note, with the index pulling back Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're looking for a fade here, too. Many of these are well away from their 20 and 50-day moving averages as we look for some consolidation in the next few trading days. International indices also mostly seeing some bearish action, some fades. We did have a little bit of bullish action with Argentina, Turkey, Russia, Greece, and Mexico all closing green for the day. So keep an eye on those if you're trading international indices. Starting off this week, we'll more than likely have fewer stocks to choose from. It looks like much of the action is going to be in the Bitcoin space if the strength on Friday through the weekend is any indication. So we'll be watching stocks like Coinbase, Marathon Digital, Riot Blockchain, etc. Along with some of the ETFs like Bitto, BITO, BITX. With the latter rising pretty rapidly last week. With the daily chart showing some potential as it heads back to the 50 day moving average. Some of the retailers like Abercrombie and Fitch showed up on the IBD 50 with volume well above average on Friday. Not sure what to make of that, so we'll keep an eye on Abercrombie A and F this week. Could be nothing. CRTO also showing some nice bullish price action over the last several weeks, trading at all-time highs. This is a advertising company based in France that doesn't report again until August the 1st. And with all of four of these indicators green, that generally means that we could see some follow-through. These tend to perform best when earnings and revenue are growing, as you would expect. Definitely a positive indicator for CRTO Criteo this week. So look for stochastics to remain embedded and MACD to continue. Volume looked good on Friday. Looking for a follow through this week.
Additional stocks like FTI making higher highs and higher lows. It does report this week, however, on Thursday after the close, as it provides technology services to the traditional and new energy, alternative energy industries. Looking for some direction after earnings, possibly a day trade or a short-term swing. The point is, not so much as a new trade as it is there are stocks out there that are pretty bullish going into earnings and we just want to make a note of it blue owl capital another financial name that's managing a bullish follow-through nice volume this is an alternative asset manager it does some direct lending to businesses just interesting to note that some of these financials are actually following through whereas the banks like J.P. Morgan, saw a little profit-taking on Thursday and Friday. These could pull back a little bit more, so I'm watching for some setups in the banks. At present, I have no exposure to J.P. Morgan or Goldman Sachs. I'd like to do something with one or both of them, just waiting for the next base to form. Raytheon reports this week. Note it's pulling back below the 50-day moving average. If you took it the last couple of weeks, maybe you want to consider reducing your risk. With the same note on IBM, we have been trading this. Some of you may still be in this, like Corey. Maybe you want to take a little profits off. It depends on if this 9 EMA bounce holds this week. It does have earnings. ISRG on the IBD50 again this week. Had earnings. Managed a big bounce off the 50-day moving average. So we'll be looking for some of the healthcare names, medical device makers, etc. to follow through this week as well. Okay, traders, that's going to do it for me. This is Cousin Benny coming to you from theclosingprint.com on Sunday the 21st. I'll send out a watch list later tonight around 12 midnight on the East Coast, around 9 o'clock on the West Coast with ideas that perhaps follow through this week, though I am starting the week with a bit of caution, and that'll most likely show up in the watch list. So be sure to check out some of these names in the list below, though the list is very truncated as we more than likely see a fade again to start the week. It all depends on how Sunday futures open and how we follow through into Monday. And look for 5,500 to hold as it was tested three times on Friday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care and we'll see you in the morning. Ciao.